In this video, we'll be trying to solve the 2025 JAM mathematics question on matrices. Okay, the question here says from the diagram, what is the value of R? So you have this diagram here. Option A says minus 3 over 8, B 3 over 8, C 5 over 8, and D 1 over 4. Okay, we've already treated the concept of matrices and determinants in our previous class. I'll leave a link to our first class that explains everything about matrices and determinants in the video description. Okay, now to this question here, solution, solution. Now to solve this question here, my first task would be to write out the given question. In the question, I'm given my first bracket there, which is a two by two matrix. All right, the bracket here has um, minus two, one, two, three. 2 minus 2, 1, 2, 3. Here's the first bracket. The second bracket here, that's multiplying PQRS. So PQRS. The set is equal to another bracket there, which is 1, 0. So we have this as 1, 0, 0, 1. We have this. Okay, so how do you solve this question? Now, if you look at this, you can see that this first matrix here, this first bracket here, this one here, is multiplying this second one here. Let's call this the first one, is multiplying the second one here, and this becomes the result of the multiplication. All right, so to solve this question, we need an idea on the multiplication of matrices, which again we've done in our previous class. I'll leave a link to that class in the video description. So how do we solve two matrices here? How do you multiply matrices? The concept is simple. Now, to multiply matrices, the concept is simple. Use the row matrix of the first bracket to multiply the column matrix of the second bracket, okay? So it becomes, for the first one here, becomes this row, the row matrix of the first bracket, this one here, would multiply the column matrix of the second bracket. That's the task, okay? Multiplies the column matrix of the second bracket. This is the task. All right, so it becomes simply minus two times P plus one times R. That's a concept. All right, so let's do this. So it becomes minus two. Um, let's take this down. It becomes minus two times P plus one times R. That's the first tax there. Again, use the same first column to multiply the first row of the first matrix to multiply the second column of the second matrix so it becomes 2 or minus 2 times q plus 1 times s all right minus 2 times q let's take that down minus 2 that becomes minus 2 times q plus 1 times s so we have this all right this is the first tax there now let's take the second row of now let's take the second row of the first matrix it becomes this one here so here's my second row of the first matrix. I'll use this to multiply the first column of the second matrix. All right, so it becomes simply two here times P, two times P plus three times R. All right, so I'm going to take this down. Two times P, two times P plus three times R. Next up, would use the same second row of the first matrix to multiply the second column of the second matrix. So that becomes 2 times Q plus 3 times S. All right. Let's take that down. 2 times Q. So I'm having 2 times Q plus three times s so we have this okay this is now equal to our answer matrix which is given here as one zero zero one so one zero zero one all right let's let's simplify the matrix on the left hand side for the left hand side try to simplify the matrix we have minus two times p is minus two p plus one times r is plus r minus 2 times q is minus 2q plus 1 times s is plus s we have this 
coming down, we have 2 times P is 2P plus 3 times R is plus 3R. 2 times Q is 2Q plus 3 times S is plus 3S. So we have this. So after simplification, we have this one here. We now have to equate this. So equate this to your answer matrix, which is 1, 0. So I'm having this as 1, 0, then 0, 1. We have this. Okay. All right, moving on from here, at this point here, your next task, the, the next. So at this point here, your next task is simply to equate elements. All right. Of course, each of this, uh, this one here, one, this one here, two, this one here, three, this one here, four, they are called the elements of the matrix. All right. And in the question, we are asked to find the value of R. So I specifically pick out the elements involving R. And that will be this one here, all right, which is minus 2P plus R. We'll equate it to the corresponding elements, which is at the left top end. Looking at this, that's 1 here. So it's equal to 1. Also, we can also find R here. You can see R here. So pick out this one too. This one next, which becomes 2P plus 3R. So I'm having 2P plus 3R is equal to this equal to here so it's equal to also pick out corresponding element in the bottom left which is zero so that's equal to zero so when you're done with simplifying this you simply equate the elements corresponding elements okay the one at this point will be equated to this particular element here the one at this point which is the left bottom will also be equated to the element at the left bottom so we now have this at this point, what we have here is a simultaneous equation. So how do we solve simultaneous equation? You could use you can use elimination method, you could use substitution method, but then if you look at this question critically, you can see that we can add up the values of P because the coefficients of P are the same but opposite. It's 2 and 2 but opposite signs. Y1 is minus, the other one here is plus. So that means they can add up. If I add up, they will cancel out. So let's add them up. So it becomes minus 2 plus plus 2. If you punch minus 2 plus plus 2, it gives you 0. 0 times P is 0. So I have 0 here. Moving on, and I have plus R plus plus 3R. So plus R, if you, if you point that as plus 1, right? The coefficient of, the coefficient of R here is 1. So it becomes plus 1 plus plus 3. That gives you plus 4. So I have plus 4R is equal to, you now have 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0 gives you 1. Now I'm proceeding, you have 0 plus 4R. That gives you 4R because anything plus 0 is that thing. So I have 4R is equal to 1. To get the value of R, I'll have to divide both the left-hand side and the right-hand side by the coefficient of R, which is 4. From here, this will cancel this. We'll have that R is equal to 1 over 4. So the value of R from the question is 1 over 4. And that is option D. So option D becomes the correct answer. 1 all over 4. So that's the answer. Okay. All right, guys. So let me give you a task here. From this same question, in the question you ask to find the value of R, now, let me give you a tax. You find the value of S in this question. All right? Find the value of S in this question and leave your answer in the comment section. Let's get for S. So, the same question, of course, in this case now, ignore the options here. Ignore the options. With the same question now, find the value of S. What do you think the value of S would be? Write it out in the comment section and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. All right? All right, guys. So, if you're in don't forget that you can get access to over 100 classes for JAM and YX students on my website. Simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses and check the YX slash JAM classes. It gives you access to over 100 classes on physics, chemistry, mathematics and other science courses. You can also check out my books on my website. Visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash books. All right. Do well to create an account with the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books.
Also, you can join my channel membership for Jam and YX channel members to get access to exclusive content for just Jam and YX members. All right. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video as usual, hit the like button. So like this video and of course, leave a comment. For the comment, I give you a task. I ask you to find the value of S from the given question. Find the value of S from that question. Leave your answer in the comment section and I will tell you if you're correct or not. If it's your first time here or you're here to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. Then finally, do well to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.